What's up? How's it going? I'm gonna play some Binding of Isaac today. This is not in a stream, however, I'm using my streaming software, um, OBS, to record this, so hopefully this works, otherwise it was a waste of time. Uh, I'm really doing it for like a quality test and things like that, and I've, I've, I've really been enjoying this series. You guys have probably seen on YouTube my stream highlights and things like that. I'll take good runs that I do on stream and throw them onto YouTube. Um, but I mean, I, I love this game. There's so much replayability. There's so much fun to be had inside of this game. And uh, I, I, I just enjoy playing it. So I've been playing it a ton lately. I have like 60 some hours, probably 20 to 40 hours in the last maybe week or two. Um, it is, it is just a very fun game when you don't feel like playing anything with like a real story or the real challenge. Well, this is definitely a challenge. Roll it! Thank you. Distant animation. Um, super, super fun game. So, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this. This, the whole reason that I'm kind of doing this game with OBS is because I already had a scene set up and everything. Um, and I really just want to try and figure out uh, how the file looks. It's an mp4 file, which shouldn't be much of a problem for Sony Vegas. Shouldn't be a problem at all, actually. Um, but it could be. I, I don't know. It, it very well could be an issue. That uh, after 40 minutes playing this game, or however long this run takes, I will figure out and I'll never use it again for file outputs because it only is in mp4 format, so... But I assume that it will be okay. I think I actually render into an mp4 nowadays, I think. Mr. Spider, please go away. Mr. Spider. Can I tell you a secret, Mr. Spider? I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of your flan. I've never had flan. I hear it's good. I hear it's like oatmeal or something. I don't, I don't know exactly what it is. Mom's panties. That's weird. Okay, so this run... I don't know how long this is going to take. Like, this could be like 5 minutes, or it could be like 30 hours. We will see, and hopefully my camera isn't auto-focusing. I don't see it auto-focusing, but... It very well could, you know? It could. I mean, you, you don't know. Maybe you do know. I don't know. But, I figured I would do the webcam and things since I already have it set up. And tell you guys that today I'm recording... Uh, Brutal Legend or Dust. I haven't figured out which one I want to record more. Um, uh, because I haven't done those series in a while. But the first thing that I'm recording today, holy bomb, is uh, Sam and Max. I want to try and get that started up. It's a five series uh, uh, episodic, or it's a five episode episodic game, much like uh, Walking Dead was. Ah, oh, you dookie fart. So, I mean, it has that same sort of uh, Walking Dead feel to it, but it's all cartoons, and, like, it, it's it's Telltale Games. They were the ones who created it, and as for what I've heard from the game that I got on Humble Bundle, uh, Devil's Playhouse, that one is the best one. So, I will be playing that game uh, first today. I will re be recording that. Probably just the first episode. We'll see how long the episodes are. I assume that they're the same as Walking Dead, probably about an hour to two hours each. So that sucks, especially with Isaac. Oh god. You know what? Let's let's just keep this ball rolling. Let's just keep the ball rolling. We'll just do another run, because that was terrible. We'll just do another run. Because I already said all the things that I wanted to say. So I don't want to say them all again, you know what I mean? But yeah. Really, just trying to test out the OBS thing. I uh, I learned from my friend Cameron at work that it actually because he was like figuring out he was playing with a whole bunch of settings. I didn't actually know that this had a file output because um, I haven't been into the setting. Dude, I'm, I'm getting hit by the stupidest things. Uh, I haven't been into the settings in OBS in forever, so he was the one that actually found the file output. And I guess you can actually do that while streaming too, but I wouldn't want to do that with this PC because I think that would be uh, uh, too hard for this PC to do. CPU, rather. My PC is great, but my, my CPU is... is uh... Oh my god, are you serious? That's awesome. 
Now I just need some health up and some soul hearts, maybe, because I, I tend to kill myself a lot with this item, which is the opposite of what you want to do. <laughs> That's awesome. If only it was Epic Fetus, because Oh, dude, my cursor has been in the stupid window. God dang it. Um, I saw a video, I think it was a Utorax update video or something, where he had a Epic Fetus, which is like, uh, you aim your bombs. And instead of using, like, the arrows, which you normally would do, he was using his mouse, which looked, like, way better, because you click your mouse to shoot a tear, and then as wherever your mouse is on the screen, it'll go to that for you. So I think that's a much better idea. The next time I did get uh, Epic Fetus, I'll, see fetus, I'll have to do that. That was a bad idea since I haven't gone... Oh, that's awesome. That's almost tempting to do on this one since I just got here. But at the same time, it's like not a good idea either. That was lucky. I mean, that was all skill. Oh cool, I got my key back. So I mean, I, I don't I don't know how much of an audience there will be for this game. I mean, my, my stream highlights have been getting pretty good um, uh, feedback, honestly. You guys have been somewhat enjoying that series at least. Uh, I keep getting, you know, 10 to 15 views on it, which is good for my channel. And uh, Utorax channel has uh, a bunch of video, uh, a bunch of uh, views on on the videos too. So it's kind of reassuring to to see stuff like that. Now, since I don't need that because I have uh, fetus, I'll just reroll it. I'll take that though. Uh, it'll be in this room, I bet. Especially since there's a pain room right there. No? Wow. Game likes to troll me. It's probably gonna be in this one. Seriously. That is interesting sauce. Let's see if it's in a starting room. Or rather this room. Yep, there it is. And it's got flat penny, which is great. We can get some keys pretty early on. Um and actually saying seeing that I have a key. Oh, I need freaking four cents. That is what I need. All right, so let's let's see if we can get some some coins here, because the compass would be super helpful right about now. I'll try and blow that up. Oh come on, get over here, you silly boogers! You done silly boogers, you! That was a pretty bad idea to do it like that. I think that's the super secret room, if I remember correctly. So we're still looking for a secret room, assuming that there is one, which should have some money in it. Or at least I would assume. Seriously, where is the secret room? I don't know. It's invisible. Now we can open that though. Oh, there's our money. There's all of our money and tons of freaking coin or keys. Now we can get the uh, compass, which is going to help us a lot. I <laughs> I don't know if you can see by the way. I have bags under my eyes. I've I freaking woke up early today. I went to sleep really early, and then I woke up at like two on my own, and then I. Uh, random coffee sip. I uh, woke up at like 5 because we went to this store. There's more money and more freaking keys. Jeez Louise. I think we have enough keys now so if we come another along another come come in contact with another trinket we can grab it. And we went to the store and they were having like freaking I don't even know. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Words and things, they're escaping me. They had monsters. I, I love energy drinks. I don't drink like regular soda. Um, I drink coffee and energy drinks for, for caffeine, which most people would say like, oh, mo energy drinks are like way worse for you than soda. They are, but I don't, I don't like the taste of soda anymore. I don't mind energy drinks though. Um, that was close. So they had like, I bought like 24 monsters for like 20 bucks. I was like, heck yeah, dude, that's awesome. Let's see if we can re-roll that. Uh, lucky foot? Yes, please. I'm not even mad that they lost some HPs. Lucky foot will help us if we find a, uh, 
what's it called? A blue arcade machine. One that gives soul hearts. So we'll be able to go into that and get uh, lots and lots of, uh, of soul hearts if need be. That was stupid. I just, I just let that hit me. I almost let that one hit me too. So I mean, regardless if we have like 60 coins or like 5, it doesn't matter. We're still going to probably get maybe one or two soul hearts out of, uh, out of a blue machine. Which will be super handy uh, in the long run. Not only that, but we'll get better rolls and we'll get lots of better things. Oh no! What is that going to do? They're slightly bigger. I don't know if that's going to screw up my shot speed though. I don't know if that was a good idea. Yeah, look at our shot speed. I can't. I can barely shoot out bombs now. That was stupid to get that then. Oh no! I didn't know it would do that. That's not a good thing. If we can get like a shot speed up though, though, we'll be fine. Or a shot speed item or something. I did. I did not expect it to do. I, I can barely shoot out bombs now. We're so slow. I didn't even think of that. God dang it! Stupid. It's whatever though. If we can find. Uh, yeah. See, like I shoot one bomb for her three basically. That's awful. That was dumb. <sighs> that made me sad. But whatever, we still have bombs. At least we still have, like, you know, a crazy amount of damage for what we have. So, it's not a huge bummer, but it is it is going to uh, make things a little slower. Yeah, I'm so slow. Holy crap. I don't want to go into the battle room because I only have two hearts. So if we can go into the shop over here and get like a soul heart, I might go in there. I always like to have some like some some uh, some insurance, I guess you could say. And it's always a good idea to kill these things while they're over one of these these gray patches, so that they don't spawn anything. Because their spawns can be really, really, you know, painful if they're like those, for instance. Those can be really annoying, depending on what you have as an item, or depending on how much health you have or whatever, or how much speed you have, rather. This is going to be difficult. I have to hit him with those, I guess. This is weird. We're so slow. We can do that. Oh, that worked. There we go. Okay. It. Yeah. We really need. <laughs> we really need to speed up, like yesterday. Oh, cool! I got a secret room now. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Okay. We'll do this now. We should be able to get, you know, items and things that we need from this. Red patch wouldn't be bad. We really need a, sh a shot speed up item. I don't know if you can get one from this, though. The hanged man, I'd rather have that. We're going to save that for probably Necropolis, or... We might save it for Isaac, actually, if we can save it that long. Hearts gives you full health, or does it give you an extra health? Gives you full health. Crap. But we got a soul heart finally. And we can take safety cap, actually. Because if we take safety cap and we find some pills, they might be able to give us shot speed. Or tears up or whatever. Like, we just need something. And since we have a couple cents, I'll buy that as well. We have enough keys to last us a while. So I'm not too worried about keys. That's pretty much last on my list right now of stuff that I, I need to pay attention to. Oh, okay. There we go. Ah, I broke the thing. Those small rooms like that are always so dangerous for me. I, I, I get hit a lot. Like, I'm not used to not getting hit. I'm not good at dodging yet. I mean, I'm decent, but I'm not, like, fantastic at it just yet. 
So I always I always worry myself when going into like battle rooms or like tiny rooms like that. I always I always freak out a little bit. God, our shot speed is so low. <laughs> it's so horrible. But the good news about like a, a fetus item is that it's uh, especially going for like an Isaac run. Um, an Isaac boss run, rather. Um, you don't... He doesn't spawn as many tiers. Because how Isaac's boss run works, the more tiers that hit him, the more that he shoots back at you. So it's good to have, like, a bomb item or Ipecac, something that does, like, a lot of damage that you can really hurt him a lot with. We'll go this way first. Get this treasure room out of the way. Uh, he's probably gonna run back. Oh no, he didn't. Probably gonna run right there. Though. We could really use some good pills right now. That would be mucho helpful arrow. So this is a pill that we haven't used yet. So we got luck up. So we're even more lucky than we were because we have a uh, we have lucky foot already. Which turned it into a Kane run, pretty much. Kane just happens to be the luckiest character to have. Sweet. And it's a Sacred Heart. We have enough Soul Hearts to where that's okay to pick up. We have enough Shield. Oh, and another HP up, too. Which is great. Now we have a, a bunch of health bombs the only thing that we're looking for is shot speed that's it that's all we're looking for right now we have damage with bombs I mean mr. mega would be kind of nice um, that's just explosive damage that would be kind of cool to have but it's not super duper necessary uh, let's just clear out this room a little bit that miss. And we don't... Like, I picked up the other bomb, but I'm not going to pick up that one, because it's kind of a waste. Like, I have bombs that I shoot out. We're going to pick it up anyway, since we just walked ne next to it. It's kind of silly to pick up bombs when you have, like, a, one of these items, but... Even still, if you run into it, you might as well grab it. Uh, secret room might be there. No. Oh, this guy's there. We'll do it there. No? God dang it. You moved too fast. Stop moving! Yay! Oh, and another pill. Cool. Balls of Steel. Sweet baby Jean. And another luck up pill. Oh no, that's Balls of Steel. I just, I just picked it up and I'm like, oh, another luck up pill. <laughs> Alright, these Gish rooms always get me, like, at least once. If they they shoot diagonally, which usually isn't a problem, but like with certain items it can be. It's really annoying. I don't know why it always it always messes with me. Oh god, a troll bomb. That miss. Okay, this is this is terrible. Why why did that miss? It missed twice. What the heck? There we go. Dude, he was in the corner both of them were in the corner, and it missed him twice. That's dumb. <laughs> that was stupid. I did not like that at all. all right, that, yeah, okay, I made a path. Because we can still use these coins. Like I said, if we run into another blue arcade machine, we'll be, we will be good to go. We have tons of luck. Super greed. You're so cute. You're so adorable with your your business. Got lots of coins now. What is this? The fool? No. We don't need the fool. The fool teleports you back to the starting room. Which is not helpful in in any way. Well, it actually it can be helpful, depending on the situation that you're in. Like if you're in a really bad room and you have a fool card, might as well use the fool card to go back to the start. That would not be a bad idea. Oh god, it's you. Might be able to take you out pretty easily. Assuming that we don't... Oh no, he moved. Oh wait, this isn't bloat, so actually we're fine. 
It's bloat that I can't freaking stand. So I don't think this is shot speed. Oh, it is. Okay. I'm still really slow. Can even even still, I'm still slow. All right, this is the deaths one, so we won't use it on this one. I think we'll save it for Isaac. Actually, no, we don't even really need to save it because we have the compass. So it's kind of silly to save it, but I think I was still going to save it anyways. Like, we can see where the boss room is. Like, it's not a big deal. Oh, hey. Nobody likes you. Nobody likes you, Mr. Fly. There we go. Uh, and we get another orbital, which is great. Oh, we got the same one as last time. As the, as the t like, two-minute run or whatever it was. So we're a little bit faster on shot speed, but I think we went negative when we picked up Polly. So we're still, we're still, you know, not great. Oh, yes. No! Alright, and we get Habit, which is good, and we get another Soul Heart since we have the money for it. And I would see what that card is, but nah, I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll save the world just in case, like, I'm not sure which direction to go to for the boss. Like, this one, I'm pretty sure it's going to be down. And if it's not down, then we have to go up and around, so. Which always is not fun, but it's not the end of the world either. Did the bomb go off? I didn't even see it go off. And our attack fly is going to help us with these small little things that get in the way, because we can just run into them with the fly. Because those are actually really hard to hit when you have bomb items. That one didn't get hit like I wanted it to. That one did, though. So even this, we can just take it out like that. And it's going to help us out with uh, doppelgangers inside the womb as well. Oh! That was almost really bad. These rooms are always terrible. I can't stand them. We should be able to get both of them. Oh, me. the body got killed. There we go. And then one more. Oh, he didn't get hit by that. Let's run into him. Oh, how did he hit me through the wall? That was dumb. Alright, we should be able to hit him with this. Yay! Okay. I tend to focus, like, a lot on this game. So I apologize if I get, like, really quiet here in a little while. Because we're getting to like a little bit more difficult rooms and things like that. I tend to uh I tend to focus a little too much on not getting hurt. There we go. And that one. Oh, it hit me anyways. Jerk. We need more soul hearts again. Soul hearts, I always find myself like, oh I have soul hearts, so I can get hit. And I'm like not focused on not getting hit. Which is the whole point of this game, pretty much. There we go. The whole point of this game is to not get murdered. That is your goal in this game. Don't get hit and get some good items. Alright, run into the bomb, please. Thank you. I finally figured out how to do that. <laughs> uh, it took me way too long to figure out how to kill those guys efficiently with this. Ooh, Gish! I love Gish. Gish's fight is, like, surprisingly super easy, as long as you don't get hit by his bombs. Like, his bombs are really the only thing that's dangerous. Those guys almost never hit me, but they did this time. Because you can, you can jump and hit his uh, slime, it just slows you down. But that's not an issue unless the bombs tend to hit you. Then that's a bad thing, but like that. That didn't hit me, but the bombs that he shoots out. Because he shoots really fast bombs, but doesn't it doesn't hurt you if you don't get hit. So. Let's re-roll that. No, I don't want either of those. And we got the treasure room, and it's only the depths, so we'll just go down. Ah, Curse of Darkness, that sucks. Alright. 
I love that they have to adjust their pathing for when you destroy stuff in the room. That's always awesome. They're like, you destroyed the thing that I love so much. So Gish is going to help us uh, slow down some enemies as long as we can hit it with Gish's attack. Which is which is good and bad, because if they're slower, how did how did that happen? I don't even know. Um, if they're slower, okay, we're we're in a bad situation. Um, we can hit them a little bit easier, but if he slows them in the wrong area, then we can't get them necessarily. Okay, this run went from like really really great to really terrible very very quickly. We lost, like, a lot of soul hearts because of these last couple rooms. And I'm going to gamble a little bit here. Probably till 15 coins. Never mind, just kidding. I won't gamble at all. Oh, God, the worst room. If you don't have, like, high damage, this room is terrible. This is a this is a run, a run killer room right here. It is, it is the worst, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be uh, Edmund and his, his uh, programmer. The Edmund is the bigger one, and then the programmer is the screamer. I'm pretty sure that's who it's supposed to be. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. Which is kind of cool. They put themselves into the game. Okay, this is bad. Oh, sweet! Oh, and we got an arcade, I just realized. Got two left hands? What's up with that? Let's see if we can't get a soul heart out of one of these. No, that sucks. Let's see if there's a blue... Oh, sick. There he is. Alright, I am not a fan. Oh, that would have sucked if I blew that up. Okay. Missing page is awesome. Um, it works like the Necronom Necronomicon, just it's not a space use item, it's a random when you get hit item, which is really good. Um, no, I don't want that. I want the missing page and I want my card. Okay, I got my card and I got the missing page. Cool. Another soul heart. Another card. I don't want to know what that is. Another card. Another card. The moon Tes teleports me to the secret room, but we already went to the one of the secret rooms, so we won't use that. We'll keep the world. I think the world is going to be the most helpful to us right now. We have damage. We have you know uh, habit and all that stuff. The only thing that would really be beneficial is like a health thing or something like that. But even then, it's it's. I don't want to take the time to, to see if that is one of them. Ooh. Okay. So now we have dark candle, which is extra damage. And if I'm in a tight situation where I can't really use a bomb, I can use the candle. Because the candle doesn't hurt you. It only hurts enemies. So for instance, this situation, if I had no room to really move, I could just use the candle and get it done and over with. Like that. But I did have space to room, I just... It's a good item to have, especially when uh, when you're in a tight situation. I would go get back, go back and get the... Let's go back and grab the die really quick. There's nothing uh, terrible on the way there, because it could turn into like a uh, like a Mr. Mega or something. Mr. Mega would be awesome. So we'll grab the dice really fast, go and roll that holy water, see if it turns into anything good. If it doesn't, we'll just leave it. I'm not going to run back to the store every five seconds. So let's re-roll this, and it turned into a coin purse. It's not ne necessarily a bad thing to have, like, it gives you free coins. But let's go back and grab the Dark Candle, and I guess we'll pick that up. I don't know, it's not really going to help us at this point, though. Especially since we're in the depths. I don't think it's going to... I don't think it's going to help like I want it to. 
We'll just leave it. We don't need it. It's it's a useless item at this point. Well, actually, no, because I if, if I can get a uh, another blue. If I can get another blue um, arcade machine, then I can get I can get uh, more soul hearts. So we will grab that. How did that hit me? That was rude. There we go. So yeah, this will give me more money. If we can get to like 15 coins, we'll we'll call that pretty good. Oh, that was stupid. Stop, stop, seriously, what the heck? A pill that I haven't used. Tears up. I don't know if that's gonna help my shot speed. No, not really. Oh, I hit space twice. <laughs> it was like, I'm ready, I'm done. <laughs> Seriously, why is it not working like it should be? It's like it's it keeps getting stuck. Being really silly. There we go. And we'll throw a bomb. Just kidding, we won't. See, like this situation, because they fly around, they're kind of harder to hit. So it's a good thing to, uh, to use. Two tears up pills, sweet. Alright, so now we're on the bomb. Seriously, what the heck? I'm, I'm getting hit by the stupidest stuff, seriously. Stuff that just doesn't make sense to get hit by. There we go. Alright. So we should just go left here. It should be the right way. Holy crap, that was dangerous. And we got our health back, which is great. And that didn't hit anything, but that's okay. See, it keeps getting, like, stuck. I keep using it, but it's not, like, it's not... It's like my arrow key is stuck or something. Which could be, I don't know. And we got the secret room. With lots of money. So yeah, seriously, if we find a blue machine... Ah, oh, I should've just cut through there. I might still. These guys are annoying with bombs. But I have the freaking candle! Boom! Oh! At least that wasn't a troll bomb. Like, if that was a troll bomb, we wouldn't have screwed. And you die. No, you don't die. Now you die. There we go. And that one's dead. Okay, so it's you to row one, so we have a boss to deal with. Which boss? Oh, God, worst boss. <laughs> Not as bad as, uh, as I think Death is his name? The one, or no, War. I think this is Death, right? Not as bad as War, but pretty, pretty terrible stuff. Oh, God. No, I didn't get hurt. There we go. There we go. No, I missed. Seriously, I missed. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, God. That was scary. Alright, three, two, one. Yay! Okay, and we got an orbital, which is going to save us uh, a little bit. And I would go clear out some more rooms, but I don't, I don't want to risk the health. 
I seriously do not want to risk that. <sighs> Another freaking Curse of Darkness. That is terrible. That is the definition of awful. We have an attack line. We can just run into him a couple times. I don't want to get hit, though. Here. Hi, how's it going? Having a good day? Bye-bye. Hey, hang on. good day. Cool, we got our heart back. Ah! And another heart. Are another heart? That's not a that's not a phrase. Our tier rate is just a smidge faster than it was. Not too much faster, mind you, but a little bit. Oh, that sucks. I have to unlock it with this. Oh, a goat hoof. That'd be worth it if I didn't trust myself, which may be a mistake, I don't know. And this will be It Lives already, which is great. That was a fast, fast boss find, which is good. We need fast boss finds. So now we can just wait here as everything pretty much dies to us. So he actually came around. get some extra extra damage on the boss with the dark candle which is always fun there we go that was a fast fast kill all right we can go upstairs into Isaac which we're gonna do because we might as well so this run oh and there's the boss right there all right we should be able to kill these guys pretty easily. Those guys are never an issue. Which is awesome. These guys are an issue though. Whoa, whoa, there's two of them. God dang it. I hate these things. With so much passion. Alright, we just lost a lot of stuff. So let's go back. Okay. Okay. This may this may turn out really bad. I'm thinking. Because if we can't find a heart somewhere or transcendence, that might help. There's no arcade machine. Which is really worrisome. <laughs> got a half a heart, it's better than nothing. Oh, we got a full heart, okay. Oh god, worst room. Worst room. They're so fast. That's the thing that sucks about them. Alright, you. There you go. Okay, you didn't get hit by that, though, Mr. Man. Worst room, worst room. Yes! Okay. So we're really low on health. But I think we can do it. I'm pretty sure. We have orbitals. We have a bomb. We don't have Mr. Mega, but that's okay. Fire. Jeez, dude, that dark candle, man, it's not it's not firing. Jeez, Louise. We're screwed. Oh, 
Oh, God, dang it! Literally two hits away. Ugh. That's the fourth time that's happened. I get to the boss with a really good build and I end up dying. It's the fourth time, seriously. That is so sad. Alrighty. Thank you guys, though, for watching. Have fun uh, with this episode and stuff. And I will talk to you all later. Bye-bye! Wait, how do I...